The first half of 2022 was strongly defined by the highly complex international scenario with increasing rates and costs of raw materials and the shortage of supply chain. In this complex context, this semester's result enhanced the importance of our model at SAFIR, which is predictable, recurring, and stable. In this model, revenues from P3 assets, the group's core activity, are directly linked to inflation, and this allows us to adequately face the unfavorable macroeconomic situation. Between January and June 2022, the company's EBDA grew by 32% up to 530 million, while revenues increased 20% and the business net income reached 42 million. As we have done in the past few years, our focus is on developing and managing P3 assets in our priority markets. In the first half of 2022, these assets contributed by 85% of the group's FDA, 300 basic points more than in 2021. Concessional assets are present. In 2022, these assets will distribute 180 million in dividends. P3 activities are also our main driver for growth in a model in which the engineering and infrastructures and services divisions allow us to have presence throughout the entire project cycle. As you can see, the three business divisions have experienced meaningful growth in this semester. Concessions increased its EBDA by 39%, engineering and infrastructures by 23%, and services by 4%. Over the past few months, we have put under operation multiple highly relevant P3 projects, such as Puerta de Hierro and Maruno in Colombia, and just a few days ago, Américo Vespucio Oriente, an impressive urban highway in Santiago de Chile. Soon, Ruby Chaca Pasto in Colombia and Pede Montana Veneto in Italy will follow. This way, we demonstrate our ability to develop projects and put them into operation to generate the expected cash flow. Sathir's focus on P3 assets is reflected in the company's profitability, which increased 200 basis points in the past year and ends the semester at a record of 20.5%. Between January and June, Sathir has been awarded with significant contracts for all its divisions, which have boosted its backlog close to 50 billion. Some of them include a Ruta 78 P3 contract in Chile, the construction of a pediatric center in Canada, our first break in Sweden, and several street cleaning and waste collection contracts in Spain. We would like to highlight that this isn't just about what we do, but how we do it. In this sense, the rating agency Sustainalytics, which assesses ESG aspects based on sustainability criteria, has recently recognized us as the fourth more sustainable company in the construction sector internationally and the first in Spain. Sustainability, as we demonstrate in every project, is one of our core pillars of our strategic plan. I would like to finish this presentation by thanking the more than 40,000 professionals at SAFIR, who are the key players of our success story. It is their talent what has helped us maintain a steady and sustainable growth, even in these conditions as complex as the ones we are living now. Thank you.